Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You should inspect your sales tax preferences within QuickBooks before you begin collecting sales taxes through your sales forms in case you wish to edit any of the default settings. To do this, select Edit from the menu bar and then choose the Preferences command to open the Preferences window. In the scrolling box at the left side of the screen, select the Sales Tax icon and then click the Company Preferences tab that appears to the right to set your company defaults for sales tax. At the top of the Company Preferences tab, select the Yes option button for the Do You Charge Sales Tax question to enable sales tax within your QuickBooks company file. Under the Setup Sales Tax Item section, you can use the Your Most Common Sales Tax Item drop-down to select the default sales tax item or sales tax group to use within sales forms if you create a sales form for a customer that does not have a sales tax setting specified. In the Assign Tax Code section, you can set the default codes used to indicate taxable and non-taxable customers and items within QuickBooks. You can also check the checkbox for Identify Taxable Amounts as T for Taxable when printing in order to indicate taxable amounts within sales forms. In the When Do You Owe Sales Tax section, you can select the Correct Option button to indicate when you owe sales taxes that are collected. The options are as of the invoice date on the accrual basis or upon receipt of payment, the cash basis. Then select an option button within the When Do You Pay Sales Tax section to indicate how frequently you have to make sales tax payments. Your choices are monthly, quarterly, or annually. When you have finished setting your default sales tax preferences, click the OK button within the Preferences dialog box to save your settings. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.